interested in my news? Oh, what is it, Dad? Aha. Dad! 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 There you are! Ah, it's Jarrell, shouting fit to wake the devils. And haven't I to cause, you scheming old biddy? What is this you showing me? I've no time for reading books. Don't play the innocent with me. What's this? Advertising our castle for rent. Message? Advertising? Well, who else? Sure, it's nothing. Nothing? It's for a bit of rent, that's all. And for the company. Company? Aye. We've seen neither hide nor hair of a soul this twelfth month. Not a soul comes here anymore. And nobody will come here neither, as long as I breath in me body. That way, Jack. I've work to be done. And so will you soon enough. <coughs> Dad, get on with it. I am waiting for silence. Dear Mr. Arnold, it is my duty to inform you that your application for the adoption of Jack Trent into your family... ...has been approved! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Can anyone join in the fun? Charlotte. I knocked, but nobody heard. Charlie! Jack's adopted. He's my big brother now. Wow, brilliant. Congratulations, Jack. Or should it be commiserations joining this madhouse? Exactly. Well done, Thad. Yeah. Well done, Dad. Welcome to the family, Jack. Well, that kind of puts my surprise in the shade. Oh, what is it, Charlie? Irish castles? Yep, the magazines asked me to do a feature on them, so I'm going over there for a couple of weeks. How would you guys like a holiday in a real Irish castle? I'll not do it, Ma. Is it contradicting your own mother now? Aren't they just what we've been waiting for? I'll not take part in any more of your madness, Ma. You do as I say, Finn O'Mourne. Remember who you are. I'm not a magician, Ma. I want no more of your madness. Madness, is it? I'll show you madness! Ma! Inside with you, unless it's another red ear you're after. There's work to be done on the potion. <laughs> but it's no supper for you, Finn Moon. I not. Really? Our fellow society, the Irish explorers, Looking for a speaker for their annual oh, dinner. Oh, no, Henry. You're just the chap. They'll be delighted. But I hate giving speeches. Oh, pity. We were thinking of funding some small expedition or other between us. Joint venture sort of thing. For the right chap. Mike. 
Mr. Arnold. Hello, Tom. Joe, just the man I wanted to see. Oh, I. Got a few broken slates need looking at, Joe. Well, I'll pop around when I get back from the horse fair. Are you going? First thing tomorrow. Oh, okay, yeah, can I go? Oh, yeah, you said you wanted to come next time. But you're coming with us, aren't you, Mike? To the haunted Irish castle? Haunted castle? That sounds great. Dad, please. But you'd rather go to the horse fair than the castle? Yeah. Well, it sounds like you two ought to do a swap. Oh, could we, Mr. Arnold? Please. I think Mike's crazy swapping a haunted castle for a horse fair. Maybe he prefers horses to ghosts, Tom. I've been around horses all my life, but I've never seen a ghost. Do you believe in ghosts? I'll tell you when I see one. Dad, do you believe there really was a giant that used to live in the castle? No, it's just an expression, Peggy. The Irish like to exaggerate. It was probably just some big bully who terrorised everyone into getting in the Yeah, we had a bully at school once. He used to nickel the kids' sweets. I'll bet he didn't steal yours. Oh, he did. And then he nicked my little brothers. What did you do? I saw red, didn't I? I decided to put a stop to it. So I bought some sweets, filled them with mustard. <laughs> what happened then? Well, he stole them as usual. <laughs> you should have seen his face. He was crying his eyes out. But he never did it again. That's the way, isn't it? You face up to what scares you the most, it usually goes away. Is that right? It's not clear like the last time. Ah, uh, will you go away? Let me see. Let me see. I... Now see what you've done. I had to start all over again. Well, it didn't look right anyhow. Ma, will you go and take your nap and leave me in peace? You're a good boy, Finn. You're a good boy to your old ma. <laughs> Castle's watching us. It's though it wants us to go away. Bags, everybody. No shirkers. be a mouse around here. No chance. <laughs> Hello? 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 Who opened the door? Maybe it's automatic. In a medieval castle? It's just the wind, Laura. Hello? Mrs. Omu? It's spooky. Is anybody home? Look out! I don't like this place. I said that the castle didn't want us here. You know, Charlotte, maybe it wasn't such a good idea for us to come here after all. Hello? Hello. I'm sorry. I was taking a nap. <laughs> Goodness. It, it just fell from the wall out there. Uh, that'll be the subsidence. This castle's built on an old swamp, you know. Gives a little shake now and again. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. 
Was it really built by a giant? To be sure it was. The mighty Finbar O'Moon, of whom me and my son are from the direct descent. He was your ancestor? Oh, he was that. I'll show you the man himself. It looks scary. Oh, he was a fearsome man. A bit of a sorcerer. He could drive you mad with one of his spells, sure enough. A real terror to cross. When did he die? Well, as folks say, he never did. That's just a local legend. He's been dead 600 years. I'm quite glad, really. Come on, I'll show you the bed. Ah! What's the matter, Roar? The eyes! They were eyes looking at me. It's the light playing tricks. We've only the generator for the electricity, you see. This is the great hall. Well, they used to have banquets and all that. But that's all finished now. What a shame. I bet that leads to the tower. It's locked. What you doing with the door? We're sorry, we thought it led to the tower. The tower's old and dangerous. Nobody uses it anymore. Now clear off! Hello, what's the matter with you now? I don't want visitors here. Will you shush? It's not suitable at all. It's damp and cold. Finn, it's unhealthy. Take no notice of him. There's rats. Oh, shut your big stupid mouth till you've a civil pun on your head, Finn O'Moon. My son. God would help me if ever a mother suffered so. I put yourselves in the master bedroom. Pardon? You and your wife. Oh, but um, <clears throat> we're um, we're not married. Are you not? No. Oh, well, that'll never do, will it? I'll get another room ready then. It's spooky, isn't it? Do you think there really are ghosts? Probably. Don't go on, you two. I don't want to stay here. Laura, don't let them scare you. There's no such thing as ghosts. Those eyes were staring at me. <laughs> they were? Fascinating stuff here. Oh, look, the legend of Finbar O'Moon. Well, evidently a nasty character, this Finbar. He, um, he terrorized everyone for miles around with his spells and potions. He's supposed to have discovered an elixir of eternal youth. He didn't pass a secret on to Mrs. O'Moon, then. Don't be oh, horrid. There you are. Your rooms are all ready now. Thank you. I'm sorry I took you for being married. You look like a couple, you see. That's quite all right, Mrs. O'Moon. Mrs. O'Moon, do you mind if I take a photo of you against the portrait? A photo of me? Yes, with your great ancestor. Oh, you'll not be wanting to take a photo of me. I'm old and ugly. But... No, you'll not be wanting to look at the horrid old hag I've become. Oh, that's not. Oh. Here now. Here's a photo of me. How I was. That was just before my wedding. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, it was the beauty of the county, fair enough. Some said, the fairest in all Ireland. I can believe it. <laughs> and uh, what happened to your husband? Oh, he flew out the door when the wrinkles started crawling all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> Poor woman. Fancy thinking we were married. Why? Well, I... Is it that unthinkable? Hiya. Have you seen Mara Moon anywhere? Yeah, she's just gone. Only my cassette player's missing from my room. I thought she might have moved it. I'll go and find her. Third. Look, I 
going to explore the castle, are you coming? As long as we don't go near that horrible picture. Dad says if you face up to what scares you, it goes away. I don't care. I don't want to see it. Laura, it's silly being frightened for a fortnight. Why don't we all go and look at it together? Come on. See? It hasn't got any ice, has it? Not now. It must have been the light. Yeah, you can imagine anything. Do you feel any better now? A bit, but he still looks horrible. Come on, let's explore. <coughs> Hang on. This is the place with the door to the tower. It's here. It's been hidden. Why? Oh, there you are. You don't want to be wasting your time there. The key's lost. And anyway, the tower's not safe. We never use it. Oh, right. Thanks, Mrs. O'Moon. You call me Ma. Now come along now and enjoy yourself. What's wrong? My teddy. He's not here. He was on the pillow. I know. Maybe he's fallen under the bed. What are you looking for? Where is he? Who? My teddy bear. Ted. We haven't touched him. Well, then where is he? We haven't touched him. Honest. It must be the ghost that took Ruby's cassette plus. Shut up, Tom. If he's in your room... Did you take it? No, honest. Laura, did you borrow my hairbrush? No, Charlie. That's funny. It was on the dresser. Now it's gone. be in bed. Have you had your medicine? Ah, keep your medicine. You know what I want, Finno. But, Ma... What have I done to deserve a son who'd watch his own flesh and blood destroyed when he could prevent it? But it wasn't right, Ma. The potion wasn't right. I don't think that the unicorn's horn's the same as a goat's. Look what happened to the poor cat. But you can make it right. I know you can. Ma. Promise me you're trying. Promise you won't, Ma. Save me, son. For pity's sake, save me. Promise you, Ma. All right. I promise. <laughs> we'll try it out on the big one, Mr. Arnold. for a couple, it would save on bedrooms. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> well, what do you say? That? That? I need some time to think about this. What's to think about? Yes or no? It's not as simple as that, Charlie.
Piggy! Piggy! Here, quick! Oh, what is that? It's gone. What? What did you see? I thought I saw somebody riding a horse. At this time? In the dark? I'm sure of it. It was scary. It's just your imagination, Laura. Like the eyes in the picture. It's this castle. You expect to see things, so you do. Come on, back to bed. Morning, girls. Sleep well? Well... Where's Dad? Don't know. He wasn't in his room. Nobody's seen him. Good morning. Mrs. Armone, have you seen Dad? Mr. Arnold. Not this morning, I haven't. Has he gone for a walk? That's what I was thinking. He's mad on walking. Full Irish breakfast, is it? Yes, yes please. Yes. Not like that he is to miss breakfast. Maybe he's vanished like Piggy's teddy. Or Ruby's cassette recorder. Or your hairbrush. The ghost got him! Don't! It's all right, Laura. He's joking. I'm not. <laughs> What's the matter, love? Laura? She thought she saw something last night. What? A ghost! Fimbaromu. Jack! <laughs> Don't worry, Laura. There aren't any ghosts. Only boys with vivid imaginations. <laughs> <laughs> Not a thing. He's not anywhere. We've looked in the castle. He must have gone for a walk. He's been gone hours, Jack. Even your dad wouldn't be that irresponsible, not to tell anyone. Woody? Let's look from him outside. Yeah. Come on. We'll spread out. Look in the woods first. Be Let's careful. On, I said we should try the potion on him. There's no need to kidnap the man to do it. I haven't kidnapped him, Ma. I haven't even touched him, Ma. Well, where is he then? I don't know, do I? Well, he can't have vanished and it's in here, can he? Unless. Those kids are out there looking for him now. Dad! <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.